let's set up Microsoft Clarity with Google Tag Manager. Welcome, my name is Julie Brody. I am the Director of Measurement for MeasurementMarketing.io. I've been building actionable dashboards for a really long time and eventually started teaching measurement marketing to people just like you. And I'm still the lead account manager for all of our dedicated measurement management clients. And you'll obviously see me back there as an instructor in the Measurement Marketing Academy. And I say that just so you know that myself, along with our amazing team of instructors and account managers, have a variety of experience, a variety of things that we have seen. And so we are always willing to help and we love great questions. We love a good puzzle to solve too. We have that kind of that mindset. So if you have questions, please reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. And Chances are we've seen what it is that you're trying to deal with and can help you. So as we go through any sort of workshop or training, we always encourage you to remember the one thing rule, which means don't try to grab everything we're giving you today. Just get the one thing that you can take and apply and then come back, watch us again later and get something else. So let's go ahead and get started with set up Microsoft Clarity with Google Tag Manager. We have this click link, a uh, quick link with HTTPS colon slash slash measure dot tips with the S MS clarity setup. So that way we can always go to the most current useful truth of how to get clarity set up on your site. So let's go ahead and take a look. And so here is again, remember the link that we have to set up uh, Microsoft Clarity with Google Tag Manager. So you can go through and make sure that you were following the most proper and most useful steps. So you can go through and follow our instructions to install on third party platform. Technically, if you're wondering, can you just like copy this and use a custom HTML tag, like go into a new and create a tag and say custom HTML and paste this in there? Absolutely, technically you can, you can do that. However, there's a little bit easier way to do that. So what you can do is I wanna discard the changes and what I'm also going to do is I'm going to refresh because I think it's interesting. It's not showing any changes. There we are. I'm going to dismiss that, dismiss that. And we're going to submit. I'm just going to do this for fun of teaching. So I want to show you something crazy that you want to be aware of. So we are on version nine. Everyone note we are on version nine. We are going to go through and follow the prompts of this third party platform setup. So we have Google Tag Manager right here. We're gonna choose that. You can go through and say connect now and it's gonna kind of follow the prompts of looking through. And so this is a little security thing. So if you have to do that with you know your emails and stuff. So we're just gonna say, hey, I trust you to do all the things and we're gonna say continue. It's doing some fun stuff. And we're gonna go through and say select the account. And again, because we have the teaching thing and all this other stuff, it is probably like, holy crap, we have so much in here. So what we're gonna do, it says account. And so we wanna make sure that we're using the right thing. So we're gonna come in, click on all accounts. We're gonna go to the all accounts page. So remember accounts, this is an account. This is an account. These are containers. So I need to choose one teaching account. So that's a little pro tip for you there. So I need to find the one teaching account and the container is that one that says demo teaching property. And so there we are. And so this is, they've named it a little bit better than what it used to be. So I'm so glad they're, you know, it's better, but be aware it is soon as we create and publish what it's going to do is coming back in here remember the version we just finished remember the ver like we are on number nine let's say someone else was working in our default workspace and there were 10 changes or something like that there was things going on what it would do it was it would automatically as soon as i press this button we're going to do that it would publish those changes and they would be live whether you want them to be or not and whether you're ready for them or not so that's just something to be aware of so you just be careful with that and it's going to do that so we're going to go ahead and refresh this bad boy which is the container on the side we can go to the versions and we now see it's on 10 and it even says hey we're the ones that did it as in this is the account even though it was through microsoft clarity um, and so let's see what changed in here. So we're gonna go through and we're looking at our tags and we're just kind of filtering it by last edited. And guess what? They did do the custom HTML thing, but that's okay. The other way 
this is the way that we actually recommend that you go through and set this up. So you don't have to go through and do this little connecty connecty thing. Um, another way you could do this is you could go into your templates and you can search for one that's called Microsoft Clarity Official. You just go through your search gallery and you can go through and search Microsoft Clarity Official. And you can see these different names, even though the logos, this is by someone third party and this is by Microsoft. They both have check marks. Um, and so this is the one you would want to use. And the way to use that, you just go to your tags and then we're going to create a new one. And then we're going to click on here and you're going to go through and look for your Microsoft Clarity one, which is here. And then it says Clarity Project ID. And so it's even telling you, hey, you can get it from your uh, from the actual URL. So let's go over here and get it from our URL, which is this little guy here, which if you are noticing, if you go back to the code, it's that same code here. That's the thing that you're seeing. And we saw that on our custom HTML tag, too. So coming back, all we have to do is that, and all we have to do is say all pages. So if we didn't take the long route in showing you that you could connect with this. Ooh, hey, you guys get to see this live. Hey, one user is online. We could say watch now. I am literally watching somebody right now what they're doing. And so it's gonna wait for the activity, but that's fun. Uh, I'm gonna hit the back button. So we're not gonna be stalking them right now. It could be you. Um, so what, if you didn't want to connect this, if you were just brand new to this, all you would have to do is come in here, grab that little number, go get your template, paste that in there, go to all pages. We're going to name this clarity. Uh, we can call this Microsoft clarity, and then we're going to go ahead and save. And then if you're wondering, could you have both of them? Best practice is absolutely not. You would probably want to remove one or uh, one or both. Um, again, I prefer to have the template instead of the script. Again, we could see that little Cody Cody thing here of the actual, uh, the project ID is the way it's called. So it kind of depends on whatever it is you prefer. If you like seeing a bunch of code and you don't want to mess with templates, just choose one or the other. And then as soon as you publish your live, so this one we've already published because we use that through the plugin. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and delete this bad boy since we are technically using this one that's already published. So that is how you can use it, uh, set up Microsoft Clarity with Tag Manager. So a couple of different ways you can do that there. Um, and then we can see that we are connected with that. So what was your one thing? I hope it was something like, wow, this is a whole lot easier than what I was expecting. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We love to have you back so you can stay up to date on all things measurement. And if you don't quite know what this thing is right here that we're showing on the screen, it is called the measurement marketing framework. And if you have never seen this before, we have an entire free course to really help you unlock your measurement potential called win the measurement marketing framework. So that way you can go through this course and really learn all things measurement strategy for free. And the way that Microsoft Clarity kind of plays into the framework is that it is part, really part of your build and launch steps because you really need to dive into the results, traffic and story so you can listen, forecast and optimize. And Microsoft Clarity is really, really useful to kind of help you really unlock those things that maybe another tool can't really help you see. Um, and obviously you're going to use it in your plan too when you're kind of setting things up. You're like, yep, we want to make sure we're able to have heat maps tools and stuff like that. So Clarity is just kind of everywhere inside of your strategy as so. If you are looking for this kind of course, if you need this kind of strategy, again, we have a free course back there for you, along with a lot of other free tools and part of our Measurement Marketing Academy Toolbox membership. The toolbox is the free version. Um, the regular academy is obviously the paid version where you have all kinds of other courses and stuff like that. We have a community, a Slack community. Um, you have Ask an Instructor where you're able to send actual messages and videos and screenshots and all that stuff back there to myself and our other amazing instructors. And so if that's something that you are looking for or you just want the free stuff, no worries. Just learn more at measure.tips slash get academy and can figure out which one would be the best option for you. And if you have any questions, just let us know. Otherwise, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.